Okay, it's hot at the moment in Dubai, and this is, we're getting towards sunset, as you can see. But Sunday was our second all-in run club, and 5K timed run, not so dissimilar to park run in the UK and around the world now, but the group has pretty much doubled in size in the second week, and you get your time, and you can see how you're improving week to week. Afterwards, I was having a chat, and I spoke to a girl who just ran her personal best for 5K, which considering the temperature, temperature when we started was 33 degrees and it went up to 35 degrees, not easy to run fast, especially when we're kind of not even at the point where you can have water halfway around, even if we'd need that halfway around a 5K. But she asked me how she can improve. And so obviously you need more information. So I asked her what her running background was. She's been running for about a year. She does all the running on the treadmill until it gets to the winter here. And that's understandable because once it gets to daytime, it's literally 40 to 45 degrees. And so I'm struggling a lot with the temperature here. As you can see, I'm black. And it's because I do as much of my easy and recovery runs outside, at least for a little bit, at least for 10, 15, 20 minutes. But when it gets to 45 degrees, it's, it's almost impossible for me to keep those in zone one and zone two. So I understand like what people go through here. And then you've got another level of motivation of getting to the treadmill, doing your recovery runs, easy runs, still having the structure in place. But she's been running about a year. She has quite a structured training plan. So it's Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. Now she's got that park run or sort of uh, all in run club to do on the Sunday. She wants to know how she can get faster. And, and so I said, when you get on a treadmill, how fast do you run? And she said, well, it can be 7.5, eight kilometers an hour. Sometimes I run it at a bit of a gradient because I know that's better for your legs. But more often than not, it's easy running. Sometimes she gets it up to 10 kilometers an hour, which is six minutes per kilometer. So Sunday and the week before All In Run Club would have been a shock for her. It would have been a shock to the system. So I said, let me, let me try to give you a better answer on a video. Um, just send me your heart rate data and send me the data that you get. And I hooked her up to Strava and had a look and here it is. And so you can see there, she's clearly putting in the effort. Like right from probably minute two, she's up to 160 beats per minute. And then the average is 169 beats per minute throughout the 5K up to 180 80 beats a minute, which is going to be unsustainable if she's constantly running at 7.5, eight kilometers an hour, and sometimes doing stuff at 10 kilometers an hour when she feels that her legs are fresh. And if you look at the pace, she's averaging 5.15 per kilometer, or I think it was 5.12 for the, um, for, for, yeah, 5.12 for, for 26 minutes, so 5.15 for, for, for 26 minutes and 17 seconds. And you can see there, that she's had to stop like, immediately. She's gone into, oh my God, we're running. And heart rate is thinking, what the hell is going on? Like, what are we doing? We're usually running at 7.58 kilometers an hour. We're not used to this 12 kilometers an hour. It's crazy, like, what are we doing? And she's had to stop, walk for a little bit, but that's not affected at all. It's not brought down her heart rate because she will have tried to walk for what seems like an age, but it's only 15, 20 seconds and then gone again. But she's been able to get the heart rate straight back up. Um, and then she's had to walk one, two, three, four times before getting to the finish. So what she's gonna see is loads of improvement. Because if we just insert a little bit of structure, and she's already got a part of that, by she wants to show up every Sunday, and she's not gonna go all out every Sunday. I suggested every three or four weeks, she can go all out, all out and try and get that personal best. But once we put something in the Wednesday, and we work on improving the time or inc increasing the volume that she's spending, at 12 kilometers an hour or 12.5 kilometers on a treadmill, all of a sudden that's gonna become very comfortable. So I suggest go to a treadmill, spend initially three kilometers of total volume and split that into 10 times 300 meters and just run, put it on 12.5 kilometers an hour. If you can sustain it, if you need to bring it to 12 kilometers an hour, she said she, it feels faster for her to run on a treadmill than in real life, which is the case for a lot of people. But if we get used to running 12.5 kilometers an hour, which is faster than five minutes, per kilometer pace, and she gradually increases the level of, or the, 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 the length of those intervals. She runs some 400 meters, then maybe some 600 meters, then maybe some 800 meters, a kilometer repeats. And then we get to her to a point where she's able to get on a treadmill for a Wednesday interval session and do five times a kilometer at 12.5 kilometers an hour. So faster than 25 minutes for 5K, she's going to be really comfortable for a big portion of that park run or that all in run club 5K. She's gonna be comfortable for longer because she's used to spending more time. So the heart rate is not all of a sudden going, oh my God, what's happening? Because it's used to it. She'll warm up properly, 
And I said, just get in the, get in the habit of getting into a really good warm up where it's taking you 10, 12 minutes. You're sweating before the end of the warm up, and then you're ready to go for that first rep. And then focus on the shorter distances so you can break it up and it's manageable. 10 times 300 meters should seem really manageable, but if you need to start at 12 times one minute, and, and, and get used to that 12.5 kilometers an hour, which again will be new for her. If you've done something like 11.8 kilometers per hour for the entire 26 minutes on, for that, for, for, on Sunday's All In Run Club, she should be able to break 12 times one minute and be able to run that in 12.5 kilometers an hour. It should be reasonably comfortable. But what she will do is get used to bringing the heart rate under control, get under, bringing the breathing under control and bringing the heart rate down in between reps. Then she should start to see the bumps in the heart rate graph where she's recovering, she's keeping the session under control and then she's able to run a little bit more volume and that might move to 15 times one minute or it might move to then you know 10 times 250 meters 10 times 300 meters and i think three kilometers is a good amount of volume for her to get used to running fast whereas if she can run at that and then gradually increase that 3500 meters 4000 meters total volume up to 5000 meters total volume and then she like i said she gets to five times a kilometer and then starts to break up the five kilometers total volume in a different way, maybe one times two kilometers, then three times one kilometer, then two times two kilometers, then one times. So she's playing with faster than what she could run all out for the park, for, for the park run. I keep saying park run, but I'm probably not able to say it. For the all in run club, then it's going to be comfortable for her and her heart rate is going to get used to her running at that pace and much faster. So what I'd expect to see within maybe four to six weeks, and this will be a big leap for her, is all of a sudden she's not just getting on the treadmill. On Mondays and Fridays, she's still getting on the treadmill, she's doing eight, 7.5 to eight kilometers an hour, which is really smart. If you think about it, she's running her race in 12 kilometers an hour, and she's running her easy runs 33% slower in eight kilometers an hour. And that's a really good, really sensible recovery. She was also doing the Wednesday like that, but if we switch the Wednesday, and make that focused on the race goal and going faster than 25 minutes, I would expect her to get to the point where she, she said herself, she feels like she can go faster. When she's not on the treadmill, she feels like she's faster outside. I would expect her to go from something like 26 minutes and 17 seconds to under 24 minutes and then think, ah, that's working. Like eight to 10 weeks of work and it started to work. So I'm starting to put the structure in, I'm not going hard every Sunday. I'm gonna give it three weeks until I try my next one. I've put that structure in place. And then she starts to use that all in run club, the 5K as part of a session. So that might be an all out run once every three weeks, but she might decide to start running that at 80 to 90% and then do something like, okay, five kilometers at 80% and then two times one kilometer also at 80%. So you've got seven kilometers of volume on that Sunday. And it's more like, okay, we're starting to, we're starting to make something that looks like a long run. Although you might be thinking, well, it's only seven kilometers. That would be a long run for somebody who's lo the longest they're currently running is five kilometers. So she'd have to build up to that too. And I, I guess my point here is, she should be able to shock herself quite quick, but once she sees those gains and she's getting the feedback, because the funny thing is, is like, why would I need to get, why do I need to get faster? You don't need to get faster, but the habit becomes more hardwired if you're receiving positive feedback. And if you're thinking, okay, I'm putting this effort in, I'm going to the gym for a reason to get on the treadmill, and I'm actually seeing quantified a level of improvement and that level of progress and actually getting satisfaction from the training, puts me in this positive flywheel where, yeah, I can't wait to go again. And I can't wait until three weeks away from it to see how much more I can improve. And the gains are not just gonna go up and up and up, but initially they will, she's in the banana zone. And so I would expect something like 26 minutes to 24 minutes and 24 minutes to 23 minutes, still a big gain within another three weeks. And then from there, all of a sudden you're knocking on the door for 20 minutes. And so somebody who was just 26 minutes or slower and having to stop four times to walk, just, just maybe, let's say three cycles away, so 13, 14 weeks away, all of a sudden should be looking at 22 minutes and then thinking, actually, I'm only 10% away from running a sub 20 minute 5K and that's brilliant. So she's part of a community. She's part of like a, an ever growing community that, you know, super supportive, all sorts of levels there, which is fantastic. Everyone's super friendly and welcoming. Um, so she's got that to look forward to on the Sunday 
and it, it, it you know reinstalls that habit reinforces that habit and then she's also got stuff in the week monday wednesday and friday and specifically the wednesday that she knows she needs to do and do well in order to get the gains on the sunday and i'm not trying to ch turn everybody into a competitive animal with themselves all i think is that if you if you're actually seeing a return on your effort you're likely to do it more and so it's exactly the same in the gym initially you should see if you stick at it and you're consistent and you put the reps in you will see a body shape change and then all of a sudden you maybe hit a plateau and you think well i'm not doing it right or something's going wrong if you continue to see gains because you're working with somebody that knows what they're doing you're going to continue doing it and so you're going to go further than somebody who's not thinking about the game or who who, who is it was immediately turned off as soon as they're not seeing returns on their investment in time and you're going to get there sooner so it's oh, it's so good and it's so good on sunday to be surrounded by people who are getting out of bed super early on a sunday to go and run as fast as they possibly can in 33 to 35 degrees heat. And so once another thing is once we get to October, if you put these six weeks or five, six weeks in place, once we get to October, you're in a great place because it, all of a sudden the temperature will drop and it'll be 25, 20, 20 to 25 degrees and it will feel like you're flying and you've got five, six weeks of efforts behind you and now it feels a lot easier. So it's great. We're in the banana zone and absolutely loving it on Sundays and if you're in Dubai you want to come and join us it's at Damak Hills 2 and we start from the gym where you can lock your valuables and you come and do um, an all-in run club 5k it will be timed and on the Wednesday we're doing a simple interval session at 8 30 p.m.